Is everything all right? Once again, thanks to you. These people wanted to kill me. They certainly wanted to prevent you from testifying at the doctor's trial. The doctor will be judged. I suppose you'd like me to testify about how we suffered. Indeed. If you do not fear another attempt on your life by these men. Don't worry. I won't put up with intimidation. From now on, my people will watch over me until I can testify. And I intend to witness the execution of our torturer. You can count on me. Thank you. Your word will be crucial during the trial. Blasts, you'll find the quintessence of alchemy, the best potions and the most efficient. Ongos. What do you want, Renaxi? I must leave. Hey! You are the Onol Minawi who freed us. We managed to reach Vikshadir. They told me what you did for them, Renaxi. Well done. I was able to give them the care they needed. Some wounds will take time to heal, but they are safe thanks to you. I'm happy to see that they're better. But you didn't come here for that, did you? No. I came to ask for your help. The doctor who captured and tortured you is about to be tried for his crimes. He has a lot of support among his people. He's a respected man despite what he did. If we don't have testimony from some of his victims, he will surely be released. You'll have our words. We'll go to the Grand City and tell our story. And the mad lion will die for causing so much harm to our people. May the earth engulf him. You can return to Hikmet. I'll make sure they get there in good health. Thank you, Tiernahach. And thank you all.
I blame myself for forcing these poor people back to the city where they have suffered so much. I believe our investigation is coming to an end. Let's find the prosecutor. You have returned, Your Excellency. Do you have any news on our matter? A naught victim of Dr. Asili agreed to testify at the trial. Excellent. This kind of testimony... I managed to convince the scientists in the governor's laboratory... Excellent. These are not direct witnesses, but if they denounce the doctor, we'll... I even got a testimony from one of Dr. Asili's... Perfect. That will convince our scientists. The Islanders will testify at the trial. Their injuries will surely convince the judges. Indeed. But do bear in mind that the Islanders are not highly regarded in Hikmet. Afra, one of Dr. Asili's former students, has agreed to testify. Excellent. This woman is very respected by the governor. Will the trial begin soon? It seems to be the right time. Excellent investigation work. I think we have every chance of winning. Where will the trial be held? At the palace. I regret to inform you. However, I'm sure the governor will keep you... Madame, congratulations. The trial was exemplary. Asili's madness was exposed to the entire world. And you have demonstrated the horror of his methods. Thank you, Excellency. But all praise should be showered upon Sir Dasade. The evidence he supplied was irrefutable. It was necessary that you hear the victims, in order to understand the extremities to which your science has taken you. Come now. One cannot conclude that science was guilty here. Not science, but the savants were. It is never right to set aside humanity in the name of the common good. No knowledge justifies killing or torture. Your words are wise. And I promise to remember them. You have not always shown yourself a man of impeccable judgment, Excellency. We are all, from time to time, victim of our own blind enthusiasm, that is true. But this trial has shaken my usual resolve. It may very well change the course of history. Are you certain that you want to attend this? I do not want to attend. I must. Dr. Asili, you have been found guilty of all accusations brought against you. In consequence, the Bridge Alliance Tribunal condemns you to death. Do you have any final words? You treat me like a monster. But how many times have you stayed your own hands? 
so close to the goal to finally find a remedy, you would have done as I. What do a few lives mean when the future of all humanity hangs in the balance? You are nothing more than idiots, incompetence, and you, Byron, are the greatest hypocrite of all. You know that I am right. Executioner, earn your pay. You know that I am right. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. What do you want now? Nothing. It's all right. Remember that the enlightened... Sade, seeing you is a genuine relief. Your emissary informed us that you were in need of our help. Indeed. She must have told you that we were being attacked. We are sustaining the relentless assaults of furious animals, which some people believe to be sent by the demons of the island. Some people? So you're not certain that's the case? We were mistaken when we thought them responsible for the Malachor. I became more cautious. But no matter where these attacks come from, our men are becoming exhausted. One of our outposts to the east has sent us a distress message. They won't hold much longer. I beg you, you must go to their aid. Maybe they can help you find out where these beasts come from. I will go there and meet them. I hope to make it in time. I am infinitely grateful, Your Excellency. You have proved your efficiency many times already. I am certain you will put an end to this. 
I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. You shouldn't stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They already killed several of my soldiers. We're actually here to help you. Are you the backup? We were starting to lose hope. I must admit that I was praying for more soldiers, but any help is welcome. We're under attack every night, and we've already lost a lot of men. At this rate, we won't survive another night. Don't worry. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you do. You still have some time to prepare before these beasts attack again. Some preparation is necessary before def- Understood. still have some time to prepare before the... All right, let's wait. Ready, weapons! There they are! Maybe I'll let you protect me in this battle. Yeah!
We have succeeded. Bravo, soldiers. We have resisted. Thank you, Excellency. I do not know what would have happened had you not helped us. My troops and I owe you a hearty drink. Thanks for your help. You are an extraordinary fighter. If it were for you, the outpost would have undoubtedly fallen tonight. If these attacks are always this violent, even with our support, it won't hold much longer. We must uncover the origin of these attacks. I've thought about it, and I sent a few men two days ago in the hope that they would find out where the attacks came from. And first and foremost, why they are attacking. But I haven't heard from them since. I'm afraid I might have sent them to their death. Could you at least tell me which way they went? I might be able to track them. They followed a trail going north of a place the natives call the Woods of Lightning. Thank you, officer. I will do everything in my power to find them. Until then, try to hold on. You be careful. Goodbye. Entering Dirge's territory. Given her point of view on the settlers and her tendency towards violence, we should go and meet her. I wouldn't be surprised if she were involved. <laughs> 